Hello everyone and welcome back to another review. Today I am reviewing volume 38 in the manga series that I have been reading Haikyuu by Haruichi Furodate and in this volume the Tokyo Spring Tournament continues and we continue to follow the Karasuno High School boys basketball team. But first of all if you are new here I post new book reviews almost every single day on both fiction and non-fiction so if that sounds interesting to you feel free to stick around. So as previously mentioned the Tokyo Spring Tournament is continuing in volume 38. Karasuno High School team has really been doing quite well in this tournament. They've beat a lot of formidable opponents, including a rivalry a rivalry that they just won in the last game. However, today is day three of the Tokyo tournament, which means that the teams are going to have to play twice. That means Karasuno High School has another game up ahead, despite them being tired and not having a real chance to do a rest, but they're going to have to play and do their best against this upcoming opponent. The author, Haruichi Furudate, has kind of broken up the momentum. So, and I think this is a good move. So in previous volumes, there would be like a big game or a practice game or some sort of montage, like a training camp. And there, the author would kind of use different things to break up these tense big games. And in the spring tournament, because we're seeing game after game after game, I think the author had to get creative. So we're not just getting a hard hitting game after a hard hitting game. So the author is using a, a this opportunity in volume 38 to take some time to showcase another team that we are familiar with and that is Fukuro Dani, I'm hoping I'm saying that correctly, Academy. They're playing the team Mujinazaka and this game is going on and it is interesting because we know the characters on the Fukuro Dani team, we know their personalities and they're fun to watch, but it does give us a breather from watching Karasuno and lets us build up some tension for the next game that's going to be going on. So in volume 38, however, the next game that does start is going to be Karasuno versus the team Kamomadai, 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 I hope I'm saying that correctly. And that is going to be, again, their second game of the day, so they are quite tired. However, this game does have a little interesting twist. So we have not seen this team before, to my knowledge. This is a completely new team. However, that that team, Kamamadai, that's how I'm going to say it, that's how I was saying it in my head, has a, another little giant. So if we remember, Hinata wants to be the next new little giant, so a shorter volleyball player who can really fly through the air and score, and he is five foot five. The team that they're facing has a member that is five foot seven named Hoshiyumi, who also wants to be the next new little giant. So this is kind of going to be a war for that title in a sense, because both of these short players are going to try to prove themselves and prove that they can win this aerial battle over the net. Overall, this is a very enjoyable volume. I do like the setup. I think the breathing space was nice. We got to see another team in action, a team that we know and that we followed nominally throughout the series. But I'm really excited to watch this matchup between Hinata and Hoshiyumi. I think that's a really interesting twist for the current volleyball game. And because we've had a little bit of a break, I'm now excited again to follow Karasuno High School team and we're going to see how they do against this new high school. I'm really excited and I am going to be reviewing volume 39 very shortly. So if you want to see what happens in volume 39, stay tuned. If you've read volume 38, have any thoughts on the comments or how the Tokyo Spring Tournament is going so far, please leave it in the comments below. I love to receive them. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day.